Hey everyone, how's it going? God Gamer here. So today I've got something pretty special to talk about, which is the potential resurgence slash revival of the Mag Isma's tier route that I talked about in my first God Gamers video. And it's basically just this crazy route that this kid in the community came up with for literally the most popular category in speedrunning for Hollow Knight. And the idea is, is that instead of getting Crystal Heart, which requires Lumafly Lantern, you instead get Monarch Wings and Isma's Tear. Now, because of the fact that you don't have to get Lumafly Lantern, it means you save a ton of time on Geo Collection. But the downside is that you do have to get Monarch Wings in order to perform the skips to get to Isma's Tear. Now, while the route was really cool, it actually ended up being a bit slower because in order to get Monarch Wings, you needed to do a shade skip and you needed to raise the HP of your shade by getting nail upgrades because the health of your shade actually scales with your nails upgrade level. Now you can see this is the exact spot where you have to perform the shade skip. You would die in this area and the shade spawns up here. And in order to attract the shade, you would have to come over here, use a vengeful spirit. The shade needs enough health to survive that vengeful spirit. Then you lure it over after hitting it with the spell. And then you pogo off of it and you get up here. Then you can just go straight to Monarch Wings. Now, Stall Ball has actually been legalized. Now, because of the fact that Stall Ball has been legalized, you can actually use it on this slope right here, pogo off the fireball, wall jump off this wall right here, and you can get up to Broken Vessel without performing a shade skip. That means that the nail upgrades are completely cut out of the route. Now, once you got to this part in the route, you would either need Dash Master to perform two quick dashes in this part in quick succession without losing any height, or you would need Spell Twister in order to perform four fireballs instead of three, just to get a bit more knockback over here. However, Stall Ball is actually possible on this slope as well. So this removes another charm requirement from the route. You don't need Dash Master and you don't need Spell Twister either. And credits actually go to Northern for finding this. And the way this skip works is pretty much the same as the other skip. You get into this room, then you return to the previous room and you farm soul and then you jump into the acid and then you get warped back to the transition right on the other side of here and then you walk back into this room and perform the skip with full soul. So now you don't need Dash Master, you don't need Spell Twister, you can just get full soul, get to this point, and then jump all the way up here, use a spell, and cast it along this slope, and then pogo off of it, and you're all the way to the right. Okay, so something to talk about real quick is that in Hollow Knight, we actually have multiple any% percent NMG categories. There's any% percent NMG, which doesn't have any patch restrictions, so that can be run on any patch, just whichever patch is fastest, we're going to run on that patch. And then we have any% percent NMG 1432 plus. That was previously just called any% percent current patch, but after the introduction of patch 1.5, we're just taking any patch above 1432. Now, keep in mind, stall ball is only possible on those later patches. So, does this affect any% percent NMG overall? Currently, it seems like it doesn't, because in order for it to affect the old any% percent NMG run, it would have to be faster than patch 1221, and currently, it doesn't come that close. However, this Isma's tier route is definitely faster than the any% percent 1432 plus current route that they use. And you might be wondering why. Why is this faster for any% percent NMG current patch and why is it not faster compared to any% percent NMG 1221? And the reason why 1221 is faster overall than these current patch categories, even if they use a better route, is because of things like lever skipping, which is only possible on 1221, and being able to inventory drop anywhere, and also 1221 has much better boss fights than current patch, that's including Umu, Watcher Knights, and THK. THK is just faster and tougher in general, 
Umu doesn't have that annoying knockback that, <laughs> that it has on current patch, and Watcher Knights do not have those horrible back rolls. So 1-2-2-1 is not only much faster, it's also just generally a more comfortable patch for people to play on because it doesn't have all that annoying boss behavior. So <laughs> the next question that I'm sure you have is who is running this route? Because as I've talked about in the previous Stallball video, Stallball is very hard to pull off. Not only is it very hard to pull off, you have to drop your FPS while you do it, which means you're getting input lag while you're performing these insanely hard tricks. So like if you've tried QGA, imagine QGA, but you also have to line yourself up horizontally too on top of vertically. It's just way harder. Some of the stall ball places are a bit easier than others, but some of them are just insanely tough. So who's crazy enough to actually try this? And the answer is Eho. Now, if you remember Eho from the Path of Pain God Gamers video, you'd know he's pretty good at the game. Now, is he good enough to pull this off? It's definitely possible for him, I think. It's just a matter of how much does he want to grind to pull this off? And what we're looking at right here is actually a room sum of best compiled by Fire Owl's Discord server huge shout outs to them. Let me just get all their usernames. We have all of these players who've contributed so much to this room sob. So just huge shout outs to all of these players for just taking the time to do all of this. And basically the point of this sheet is to give a point of comparison to the current sum of best that people have for any percent NMG current patch. So how much time could this potentially save on the current patch runs? And the answer is, is that the room sum of best that they eventually got was 3159.67. Now, the best comparison we have to that room sum of best created by Fire Owl's Discord server is the community split sum of best for current patch. Now, of course, it's a little bit different because with a room sum of best, you can actually optimize things a bit more. However, these are the top speedrunners and their best times for each split. And despite that, it's actually over a minute slower than the Isthmus tier stall ball route. Overall, they have a time of 33 minutes and 3.62 seconds. Now for any percent NMG, which is run on 1221 currently, but doesn't have any patch restrictions overall, the room sum of best that they have, because this patch actually has a room sum of best, is 30 minutes and 41.29 seconds, which is over a minute faster than the Isthmus tier stall ball route on 1432 plus. So what are the implications of all of this data? So this data means that the any percent NMG regular standard route, which is currently run on 1221, is not going to be replaced by Stallball unless there's some crazy new discoveries, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. However, it is possible that it will replace the any percent NMG current patch route if someone manages to pull it off. However, that is a big if because this stuff is very difficult and that category is actually a little bit less active than any percent NMG run on 1221. Just personally, I find it super exciting that someone might someday just whip out a run with Stallball and get a one minute time save on the previous runs. That would be crazy. However, one thing to note is that because of the difficulty of pulling these tricks off, overall, the quality of the runs, because you're finishing so many less runs, the quality of those runs is going to be a bit lower. Like, you're not going to be as likely to see a super crazy optimized run because just finishing a run at all is so insanely difficult. So you really need to combine like a player with just insane consistency and also actually being able to pull the trick off and then having the patience to put in all the runs needed to do it. There are a few players like that. Apparently Dia Baby was trying it out. Eho was trying it out. We'll see if they actually manage to pull it off. 
But yeah, once again, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Fire Owl's server and the work that they're doing because they're definitely making things so much more interesting in the speedrunning community. And definitely check out Fire Owl's channel because I think there's going to be a video showcasing this segmented run at some point, which will be really fun to watch. So there will be a link in the description. Check that out. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all find this interesting as I do. And I uh, hope you have a great day. <laughs>